This is right here in front of us. Maybe we can get some live action. There he is. That's a little bit better fish, I think. That's what a Hohenberg looks like after about 30 fish. <laughs> it's all beat to hell. Beautiful sunset. We haven't done a speed test on this boat. I wonder how fast I can go. Let's really crank this thing up and see. Well, that was easy peasy Japanesey. Got the kayak loaded and we've got the fly rods in the truck. Let's go! Even got our lucky fishing hat. Throw that bad boy on. Little Diamond Pond, here we come. We are getting there. Thriving metropolis of Errol. It's just going over Dixville Notch. There's still snow up here. It's gonna be June in a day or two natural architecture straight up to the rock ledges come over the notch and you see the balsams grand resort that used to be such an amazing place back before it went out of business a decade ago or so there it is it's still an amazing impressive set of buildings but too bad they couldn't make it work. We have arrived. Beautiful. There is Little Diamond Pond. Beautiful. Let's get this kayak in the water and see what kind of damage we can do here. Well, we just arrived at Little Diamond Pond up in Stewartstown. Got the kayak ready to roll. And I'm seeing fish surfacing, light dimpling all over the place out there. That's a good sign. Let's get after it and see what we can get. We've got a little Hornberg here. I think that's a number 12 with an orange flash underbody. Come on little dude, get up here and bite this thing. Back over there. Ooh, he's messing with it. Eat it, you little bum. Eat it. Oh, pull it right away from him again. <laughs> he must be a little dink. He can't even get his mouth around the. Come on, a little bit of live action would be nice. <laughs> Just came right out of the water up there. Yep. That's why we brought this towel for a reason. Let's use it. Let's use it. Cover up the stuff it's going to get tangled on. Oh, pull it right out of his mouth. I felt it. Felt it come out of his mouth. Try that again. Come on now, take that Hornberg one more time. I may have to touch up this hook. Oh, there's one right behind it. Come on, eat it. Came right up and took a little swipe at it, but. 
Come on, big boy, come back. Took a half-hearted swipe at it a minute ago. Let's see if I can... See, he's just dimpling right there by the fly. He's just kind of nudging it with his nose and... Eat it, you fool! There's one. Just hit it. Doesn't seem all that big, but... Just hit it as I was retrieving the next cast. What do we got? What are you, buddy? Little brook trout, perhaps? Oh, aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? He liked the orange homebird, didn't he? See ya, buddy. A bit better fish just rose over here to our left. I just laid one in there pretty close to where he rode. Let's see if he might be willing to take. Hornberg does not want to stay on the surface much anymore. Come on, he rose again right next to it. Come on, you goofy little sucker. Get up there and hit that thing. Little trout rising all over the place here. Oop, there we go. There he is. He came up and took it. And a little brookie. Come on, little sugar booger. Get up here. Cute little fella. Cute little fella, aren't you? Oh, come on now. He's so damn little. He's going through the spaces on my net. <laughs> come on. Let go of my Hornberg, little dude. Let go of my Hornberg. Beat up fin. Hatchery fish, obviously, as all of them are, but. Oh, sorry, bud. Time for you to go back in the agua. Grow, grow up. Maybe you'll make it through the winter. <laughs> uh, I just let out a bunch of line as I'm going, as I'm pedaling up to the next group of rising fish. I let out some line so I could water load a cast up to these rising fish. <laughs> That trout hit it behind me. No, he didn't get hooked. Did he get hooked? I've got it. <laughs> he is hooked. Something hit it. What in the hell? <laughs> this is a riot. <laughs> I'm going to call him a native. <laughs> That's a riot. I wasn't even sure if he was still on there. Get out of here, little guy. We just had a savage, a savage hit over here and he missed it by about two feet it looked like. Let's see if maybe we could get him to take. He came up right out of the water. Brook trout probably nine inches if I had to guess. Oh, oh, some little dent came up and missed it. Again, he's taking it underwater but not eating it. Got it again. I can see him. I can see the light colored hackle on the Hornberg and I can see it dart and disappear. Did it again. Uh, just some little guy. Pretty good rise right over there. That Hornberg needs some, some dry fly dressing. One little twitch and it goes under. You false cast to dry that foolish thing off. There we go. There we got it. A little guy. Oh, got me down into some weeds. It felt like there for a second. A 
well, right through, <laughs> went right through the net. <laughs> the fish went right through the net. I need a smaller net. <laughs> or we need bigger fish, one of the two. Come back. Well, I guess we'll leave him out of the net. My hand's wet anyway. Come on, little guy. Come on, I'm trying to turn you loose. There we go. <laughs> right down through the through the net. We need a smaller net or a bigger fish. <laughs> but it's fun anyway. I just love top water tape. Sugar bugger. You know you're hungry. I know I'm getting hungry. I've messed with these guys, these little risers, quite enough. I think I want to see if I can troll around a bit and find some of that 10 foot water and perhaps hook into something a little bit bigger. If I hit that 10 foot water, I think I'll probably put on a bugger, good sized bugger. Man, that hook is duller than a date with a nun. Get it. Touch that up just a bit. That big old burr on it, like the, pit, the tip of the hook got stuck in something and bent it over a little bit. That's getting better. There we go. Big old gaudy looking bugger with conehead bugger with some couple of rubber legs on it and a little crystal flash coming out the back. If there's any big hatchery brook trout, they'd come up and nail something like that. Alright, we're gonna put this conehead bugger on. An improved clinch. Uh, what have we got here? This is three or four X. I'm going to go six turns. Whoop. Start over. Got to hold on to it, dummy. There we go. There's the clinch knot and go through the big opening and that's the improved part. What that? Draw that down. Trim off the tag. Get this sucker wet. Yeah, that's what it's going to look like wet. Those rubber legs give it just a little bit. I don't remember tying this, but what have I got under there? Oh yeah, I got some red ribbing wire. I really tricked this sucker out good. Alright, let's get this in the water. Nice, we've got like 10 feet in the middle right out here and that's it. Alright, let's go check that out. Get down 5 or 6 feet anyway. Just a regular intermediate I believe. Doesn't think very fast. But that's why I put the cone head bugger on there. And that's about three quarters of the line. Lock the drag down almost. Bad boy in the rod holder. The little dime is not very big. Looks like it's about 10 feet out in the middle and that's I guess right where we are 9.9 .9 feet 53 degree water 12.2 volts I gotta put a charge in my battery 
It's a little 15 amp hour 12 volt battery and I've used it four days now and I'm just getting down to 12.2 volts. I've got that cone head bugger out over here. Just drag it along at two miles an hour, between one and two miles an hour. See what we can find out in here. Oh, we've trolled that big bugger over here around for about 45 minutes, around three quarters of the pond or so. And we are, zoom out. I'm gonna go down, we're gonna troll right down to the inlet or outlet, whatever this little creek is that leaves this place or comes in. And from there, I'm gonna take in the bugger and we're gonna fish dry flies to some of these little rising fish on the way back. It's around 20 minutes of five now. What the heck I've got here, but boy, there he is. That's a little bit better fish, I think. Beautiful sunset. I haven't done a speed test on this boat. I wonder how fast I can go. Let's really crank this thing up to see. If you like this sort of video, hit the subscribe button down below and you'll be notified of all future videos. You are fast fishing we will go, fishing we will go. Hi. Hey, thanks for stopping by.